tình yêu sao rực lửa tình yêu sao lạnh vân tình yêu như địa ngục tình yêu như thiên đàng be sincere be repentant be humbly asking for god's forgiveness remember god all the time respect god's law thou shall not kill If you're going south, it's not that difficult. I tell you truly, if you just turn around, then you'll be forgiven. Whatever you did wrong before, don't do it again. And even if you don't remember what you did wrong, you must know in this lifetime, the world suffers too much, including yourself. Then we must have done something terrible that we violated the law of the universe. So we have to all repent all the time, every day praying for forgiveness, Be thankful for whatever you have and was given to you and pray for protection, pray for forgiveness and turn around. You know, if you go in south all the time, even if you know it's wrong or not know it is wrong, but if somebody told you, no, that road is no good, you can't. You have to U-turn. In the south right now, there is war, there is famine, there is a bad damage destroy roads, destroy cities, you go back north. If you listen to that advice, just turn around, go to the north. Then the south problems won't reach you. Yes. That's all very simple. I cannot give initiation to the whole world because I don't know who wants it. And it's it possible only they have to go into a place together. And I either do it myself, give the initiation or through the representative, I empower that person to do the initiation on my behalf only for that time in god's grace god's blessing right yes the people have to be vegan and vow to be vegan for life otherwise if they are not vegan and they sneak in just to spy or it's just curiosity without any repentance in their heart without respect for god's grace and benevolence so if i give them initiation without them being vegan then they will be punished even more than if they didn't know. Wow. Because it's just like you know the law and you don't abide by the law. If you don't know, then maybe you have some excuse. Yes, Master, that's right. And the law in every country is also different already and not everybody knows all the laws. But the law of the universe, you know or not know, is still measure out the punishment for you. Yeah, yes. Because they judge that your soul knows everything. Because the soul does know everything. Mm. It's just that the mind doesn't listen and tells the brain, tells the body to do bad things. Mm -hmm. That is a problem. The mind is also being influenced by others around it and that just lashes out or dishes out whatever he thinks he has collected all that time, good or bad. Yes. The mind and the brain cannot judge very well. And don't listen to the soul. The soul tries so hard to work through the mind and says, no, not that one, this one. But the mind doesn't always listen because humans are too busy. The minds are busy, anything else except the soul, God, virtues and benevolence. Yes, Master. The problem is the mind and the brain. And I cry my heart out all the time. Sometimes, excuse me, I also been very rude to God. I say, we don't know anything. We humans, we are ignorant. We don't know so much. We can't see anything. We don't know the consequences. We don't know what's truly good, what's truly bad. And we're too busy being forced to work day or night, half of the day, half of the night already. Yes. And we come home very tired or even work at home all the time, exhausted. My body and thoughts, so you can't even think too well. You can't just keep punishing humans like that. You have to do something, you have to... <laughs> and God told me, I send my son, I send masters, I send teachers, I send saints and sages all over, everywhere, all the time, in every period of your earth to teach you. You guys just don't want to listen. Wow. Mm. And so I could not say much more, but I said, please, please, I cannot bear all this. Please. Do something. Oh. <laughs> Please help humans to understand. <laughs> Please help the animal people. So no more suffering. 
And God didn't say anything. Heaven didn't say anything quite. So I said, please, even if they have to die horribly, please rescue their souls or let me do it. Oh. It's all on me then. Oh. Just put it all on me. It's possible like that. They didn't say anything. And then I got out of my conference with them. I got out and I couldn't get in anymore. They didn't talk to me anymore. Uh -huh. And I keep screaming, yelling, pacing in and out, up and down around the place. Oh, master. Yeah. I say, you must listen to me. You can't pretend you don't know. You can't pretend you don't hear me. You must, must do it. Mm. Yeah, but then that's that. That's, that's, that's. Okay. There is another topic. Tell me. Yeah, Baba Vanga, the lady prophet, predicted a solar tsunami and also a nuclear explosion will go off in 2023. The toxic clouds will be seen over Asia mm. and the solar tsunami will fatally destroy the Earth's magnetic field, causing blackouts and communication failures. Mm. Sometimes it already did some small parts already. Wow. Sometimes we also had some communication blackout. Yes, yes. Uh, maybe today is also one of those things because I had no internet all day long. Oh, yeah, possible. I couldn't work. I have to call by phone and ask the doctors and team to read the whole thing for me. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I have to ask them to check the quality of the show, the host and the presentation. Imagine all this. Wow. Yeah, I have to. Yeah. I have to, otherwise, if I wait until the next time or tomorrow, it might be too late for the show. This Every day true. has shows. I can't just say, wait a minute or something. Yeah. I keep waiting all day and try so hard. I wasted a lot of time and wasn't exhausted. And normally I would eat earlier, but today I didn't eat anything oh, yet wow. up to now. And I was thinking I eat before I call you. Um, but I thought, oh, I call it for just a few minutes because we just have some things, very simple things to talk about. How long have we talked now? I didn't know it will be for so long. 51 minutes already. Oh, thank you <laughs> for your <laughs> trouble. Thank you for giving me trouble. Oh, sorry. Master. Don't worry, don't worry. I thought I could talk to you first and then I can eat in peace, you know, then I can take more time instead of eating and thinking of the problems and the, the work. But then... I didn't know it would last so long. Master, thank you for your time and sharing those. What well, was it? The question again? About what? Yeah. Well, it... solar. Okay, solar. solar I answered one, huh? Yeah, yes. A nuclear explosion. It's begun already. It's just not on a big scale. I hope my protectors can help to erase some, to ease some part of it. Oh. But I am not sure about anything anymore because the karma of humans has been brewing up and has matured to such an extent is maturing so fast and so enormously that I, I can't, I can't, I can't think fast enough even. Wow. Not to talk about acting. Yes, Master. So whatever comes, we just do whatever we can. That's all. Heaven and my little self helping, helping hands. Thank you. Thank you, Heaven. Thank you, Master. We are very grateful and blessed to oh. have this help. Thank God. Thank God. Thanks, God. Repent to God. Ask God for forgiveness all the time. Thank God all the time. Mm. Every day I also ask God for forgiveness because I don't feel like I'm all innocent. As I've been a human, I would myself share the karma of the world anyway because without the world, I would not have been born. I would not have been taken care of and nourished to grow up and to have an education and then to be uh, transmitted the Kuan Yin method, the heavenly, inner light and sound method, the word of God method. Yes, yes, Master. So I, I can't just say I'm all innocent. Even though people who look at my hands before say, I had no karma. Wow, they didn't know. They didn't know I would have a lot of karma later when I had more disciples. I didn't have disciples at that time. Ah, right. Everywhere I go, they wanted to read my fortune, my fate and all that, and all good things. You will be a Buddha soon, you don't have any karma, huh. or oh, your eyebrow is the eyebrow of the Bodhisattva. I say, what? <laughs> How can the eyebrow be a Bodhisattva eyebrow at that time? <laughs> I did not pluck or anything yet. <laughs> <laughs>
I came straight from household. <laughs> yeah, at, at that time, I had no disciples. I had never known anything and didn't think that I would one day uh, have so many so-called disciples or work so hard like that. Mm. I had no idea, I tell you the truth. I could never speak so much like this before. Oh, wow. My. And without being tired, even without eating the whole day. Before, when I did not get the key of enlightenment yet, if I talked to anybody for just a few minutes, I felt exhausted already. Wow. Their karma would grab me immediately, and I feel like I couldn't even open my mouth anymore. Oh, gosh. It was like that. And now I talk sometimes for many hours, you know that. Yeah. I'll get tired maybe later, but not during the show, <laughs> not during the talk. Things are đi tình trở lại tình ngọt ngào tình ngang trái tình đưa ta lên trời cao tình diêm ta xuống vực sâu ta kêu gào ta than vãn tình vẫn không buồn